So, Chelsea 2, Arsenal 2. Just, I had to do this because oh, my throat, I've kind of lost it a bit. Literally all the emotions of anger, happiness, frustration, all rolled, rolled into one. I don't know about you if you watched that. If you're an Arsenal or a Chelsea fan, then you would have gone through the same. But Arteta... I've got to give him credit, he is working miracles with so many brain-dead idiots. David Luiz, dumber, Mustafi, dumb. That, what Mustafi did, inexcusable. It just shows he has that lapse and in of concentration in him. But we've got so few players that Arteta has to play him because we haven't got any other defenders, or they're all so bad. <clears throat> and then Luiz, don't foul him. Let him have a shot, okay? If if Abraham scores, that's fine. And then we have 11 players and we would have more of a chance maybe to have won the game. But no, Louise thought, you know what? Agent Louise, let's take him down. Obviously, of course, he didn't do it on purpose, but he had that moment of madness. And, yeah. So, two things. Penalty and then red card. So, he and he's like, oh, yeah, hmm. Oh, I've lost my brain cells for two seconds with with Mustafi. So all the memes going around of Dumb and Dumber of those two, and that's it. And then the character that come back for um, that. First of all, obviously, let's talk about Martinelli. Wow, 18 years old, and that run was brilliant. When he saw, obviously, Kante slip, and his lies just were like, whoa, and just lit up, and he, and, and he just ran, and he just... A lot of players might get to that situation and fluff their lines, but um, he just absolutely kept it cool and it was a brilliant finish. And then really nice to see Bellerin as well at the end with that fantastic finish just to sort of have a great comeback. And he got man of the match on BT Sport, which I watch. Uh, but Ozil and Lacazette, lack of threat, get rid, get rid. Ozil, Lacazette, Mustafi, get rid. I'm going to give Xhaka credit because he did do well to go back into defence and just marshal it with what we've got because we've got so many problems there. But if these owners do not see that we need defenders and now, not not the summer, now, okay? Because we're, we're tenth when Arteta took over and we're still tenth. And he's working with n nothing. And that, and tonight, and it is, it, you know, the defenders cost us, and then the possibility of getting three points. But absolute credit for coming back, amazing point. Feels like a win, but we are draw specialists, twelve draws. And yeah, I'm just like, that's that's a good point, considering the situation. But too many times this season, we've just had a bad point. <clears throat> if we can imagine there's 12 draws just three of those would be right up in the top around the top four even if we had nine draws and then you know our squad is so thin look at Saka he's doing so well we don't have a left back and you know and in central defence we're, we're relying on someone we wanted to sell in Mustafi and the reason we want to sell him is because he makes stupid mistakes like he did and he does it to himself. I'm sure he's a lovely guy, but a guy can't play football and he needs to go. So I'm happy, I'm tired as you can see, but I'm also seeing what Arteta is trying to do. Shows up to the board, you need to back the man because he's serious, he's got a, Arteta's got a brain, but certain players haven't it, and he's doing the best he can. So I'm gonna sign out. I'm off to bed. It's a good point, but we need to start winning games now.